Today, we've asked our friend James to come and share his thoughts on Race for the Galaxy as he and Cax have played many hundreds of games. Let's listen in on their conversation here today on Legendary Tactics. So James, we have found a mutual passion here for Race for the Galaxy. You love this game, if I'm not mistaken. I love it. Absolutely yeah, this love is it. Uh, a most excellent game indeed. Um, I, I think I've played well into the thousand range yeah. of, of games. I don't know about yourself, but I'm uh, with you. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I'm mostly on the app. I have to say a bunch in person, but with the apps there. Oh my gosh. Now, all do, the you, time. Do, you, do you use the steam app? Do you use Android? Do you, where, where are you? I, I have both. And I was a sucker and paid for both games and all the, <laughs> all the expansions. Um, I, you know, I, well, the I beginning, think you got I your money. Mostly worth. steam. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't kidding. It's true. I play mostly app now. Do you? And and before the app, I used to play the Kelden AI. You could it's still out there. You can you can actually play Race for the Galaxy for free against the same AI that the app uses and the Steam uses. Are you um, serious? You can, the same difficulty level. Same difficulty level. And wow. you can actually play you can actually play all the expansions up to uh Xeno Invasion. Like all the all the cards are there for you to play. The oh only thing gosh. you can't do is you can't play the if you remember alien artifacts if you ever played alien artifacts it's mm. got this like it actually has this explore phase where you are and honestly i haven't played it in years so i can't remember if it's called explore but you you're moving little meeples around the interior of a spaceship revealing cards like it's like an explore aspect to the game it's oh, finding wow. things it's cool. It didn't. It fell flat with a lot of people because one of the great things about Race of the Galaxy, as you know, is that you could play it, on, especially on the app, like in five minutes, like oh my bah, 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 bah. super and, fast. And super that fast. Alien Artifacts added that uh, it added a lot of play time, which some okay. people like. Well, I mean, I think it's the, I actually I haven't played. I really want to play it again because sometimes you just want a longer game and maybe have just explore some other part of it. So the Kelden AI. Funny we haven't talked about this before. No. You can you can still find it out there, and you can play everything on this. Oh, I'm very actually, cool. I'm glad we talked about this. I'm going to do this again because I <laughs> I missed playing these Xeno Invasion Alien artifacts. You only get to play the regular game, right? So with, it's just, with well, the cards, just yeah. the base game, right? Well, yeah, you can only play you can only play a regular game with Alien artifacts and Xeno Invasion. You don't I don't think it allows you allows you to play the there's like an invasion game that kind of goes off the side where you are being invaded by aliens and have to defeat them sort of cooperatively, but it's been a while oh, since I played it. Anyways, okay. all the cards are there. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Uh, now, speaking of, we were just sort of brushed by the base game idea. I, I am yes. a purist. I only played the, I've only played the base game uh, to any meaningful degree. Uh, you were telling me though you dabble in it all. Yeah, I do it all. And um, sometimes, if, you know, for the, and the funny, because for the longest time, I only wanted to play base game. And right. maybe because I just didn't want to have to um, learn all, yeah, learn <laughs> and front and cards. learn all the cards. But for a, for a while, I like to play live. I'll play against the AI on the, on the, the app sometimes, but I love to play live people because I imagine what they're doing, you know, when I drop a, a six banger on them and they right. cringe. So um, <laughs> a lot of times it's hard to find a base game unless you're starring them and somebody joins you because a lot so of people really, want to so play. So really, so base games are ones. not prevalent anymore? No, no. Okay. I mean, this still happens, but people right. like people like the extra cards in the Gathering Storm especially. And then and then the Rebel uh, versus Imperium brings in this idea of the influence, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. So you actually just mentioned my next question, which was two versus three versus four player mode. And yeah. you are, do you have a preference? I like, well, I if I have diff a preference under different situations. If I'm playing right. against the AI, two player almost every time. That's if what I'm I do. If I'm playing against real people, it's three or four. Really? So you don't do want to like play that. heads up against real players? Yeah, and I don't know why that is. I, you know what? I think you just get burned, not burned out. You're like, ah, I'm tired of playing two player against a real person and, and to have play against three or four other people. It's cool. You know, the right. game is different. You're watching your opponents more. You're trying to take advantage of, well, I mean, the whole game's like that. You're trying. You're you're watching them more to try to figure out what kind of phases they're going to call. And right. It's just a, and then just you a use that to your feel. advantage, right? Yeah. yeah, that's right. And playing against the human AI, it's maybe a little less predictable than the AI, right? The AI yeah. probably is going to follow more of a like a prescriptive format. I feel like you feel like now. I know guys out there 
who play race a lot and they will tell you exactly how the AI plays. I'm not sure I am that um, attuned observant, yet. attuned to be yeah. able to say, you know, I just haven't bothered. If I, if I was really paying attention, I can say, oh yeah, I know what the AI is going to do here. And, and maybe that's part of it. Maybe I'm subconsciously bored of playing the AI. I don't know. I got. I got to tell you that there, that's one area of my game that I I need to improve on, and uh, we're going to talk strategy in a later video. But yeah. uh, one thing is watching my opponents' moves, and they're bored. I yeah. don't do that. I am I am like way too tunnel vision focused on my own game to worry about what they're doing, and I think it, it's it's to my detriment. But uh, yeah, I hear you. I, I think with but the it three sounds like four... when you play when you play three or four, it, it sounds like you're forced to do that. It, it is because you only can play one. You can only call one face. You know, in the when and we talk about two player, you know, there's a two player uh, introductory two, mode where yes. you only call one phase, and then there's two player advance, which everybody does. That's the um, one I do. Although yeah. occasionally on the app, I'll get suckered <laughs> into playing a two player single like introductory mode where you can only call call one phase at a time, and oh, I no. hate it. Oh, it's awful. You're like, oh. no, where's my other phase? And you start the game, you're like, oh, should I just it's too resign? late. No, is, you, you, can't to, no, you, you can't resign. You said that's resign. one of your can't, biggest pet peeves. No, can't resign. <laughs> if you're going to resign, do it at the beginning, though. If you at least, you know, don't lead them on. The, when you're playing, don't, don't three, lead them on. That's right. When you're playing three or four player, you you because you can only call one phase. I'm paying. Yeah, you know, sometimes I'm not paying attention. I just want to play the cards, and I don't care. I got, you know, I have my plan. I'm going to do it. But I yes. find I, I'm looking at my other my my opponents and think and trying to figure out what they're going to do. And being ready to take advantage of that. The right. other thing too, which when you're playing with three or four players, uh, I often play with the goals, which ah. um, were introduced. Interesting, because that's not that's a thing I've never obviously in the base yeah, game. Yeah, you, you would like them because they switch up. You don't have to play with them all the time. And honestly, I can't remember if they were introduced in the Gathering Storm or Rebel Rebel versus Imperium. Okay, Maybe, I can't remember, but the goals are are nice, not all the time. Because it does change the way you play. Because you are, you know, maybe you have a good produce consume engine you're trying to get going, but there's a sweet, you know, military goal. Right. The person that with you the most military, like, oh, and that's worth some of the two of the goals are worth five points each, and then there's oh. four goals that are worth three points each, and they work a little bit differently. You know, the the three point goals, if the first person to reach to do something, they get that three points, and then the five point goals will go to the person that has the most of something the most military or the most um, the most cards that have an explore power and so on. And that can switch, you know, you could have this, you have this five points in your, on your side and somebody gets higher military than you. Boom. That five points goes to them, oh, which, is, which, which is cool. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I played a lot of games against the the hard AI, and I mean, that's yeah. all I've played. And really it, sometimes it boils down to like a one point, a lot of ties. Yeah. Or, no one kidding. point swings. So I mean that that five points could be a, a make or breaker. Well, that's what I find amazing about this game. Like I would love. I know Tom Lehman, who's the design. I don't know Tom Lehman. I know Tom Lehman has talked about kind of the thinking that went into the design, but it's right. so well balanced. And I've heard him talk about even thinking about certain cards, like making small modification to cards because they were slightly overpowered or underpowered. But I've been in so many games that have been within two or three points. Oh, of, yeah. of three or four people and then occasionally wow. Wow. sometimes you'll many. have one person that runs away with it and scores like 40 sure. points more than everybody else sure sure there's but the blowouts some, yeah oh my god and you, i'm sure you've had this happen where you've you've gone into a tie you have the exact same points and it comes down to cards cards like number and, of cards and, and, and world and, covered and, and yeah yeah the number of uh, of goods and yes. i've even tied i've had a couple games tie like that where it comes in tied like that's incredible like what a game to to play that that many rounds with that many different cards and then have a tie, that's incredible. That, so yeah, really that well, is, is really amazing. well designed. I, you know, there, I don't think any card is in this deck accidentally. A lot no, of thought went very, into, very you know, we're going to do a card. Like, yeah, this. very purposely put in. So Speaking well Speaking of that, I, I have a, I have a question that's been, it's on the back of my head. I wanted to ask you is, do you have, and let's, let's go with the base game. Cause that's what I play mostly. Yeah, do sure. you have a favorite card or two that you just love? Oh, you know, Yes, because <laughs> I, I, I'm looking at I'm looking at two right now myself that I love to get into the game. One of them, diversified economy. Uh, one is <laughs> the galactic. It's covered up by I can't. Uh, oh, I gotta move this. Tourist world is one of them, and the yeah, galactic okay. trendsetters yeah. is the other. I love yes. those two cards. The, the two, the two bangers, like the 
the uh, one uh, and they double down on points for their yeah great. yeah you could double up on them the galactic trend centers is one good for two points and then the um the tourist world is two goods for two three points for three points and you double down on your points of score yeah obviously. oh so man it's like they the fast get track big. score right i will take tourist world tourist world anytime over galactic trend centers really yeah the cost is so high in galactic trend centers if an you extra get it dollar there, eh it's, it's i just find it so hard to get out now yeah. you can do that with what's that card that lets you settle for free well there's the card the two there's the two banger um uh the two banger cards you can play down and then you can play down any world you want uh that's yeah not yellow or yeah, an alien it, or what's that called now and i'm trying to yeah i'm just i'm thinking about it now. yeah here we go no, I, I know what you're talking cards. about yeah oh uh deficit spending deficit spending no right. no 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 not deficit spending colony it's actually the, the very first card I'm looking at right now. Call oh, cost of two. You get to settle any world. There it is. That would be, yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be the shit. time I, I place it. I play that. Down so drop there. that down and then drop down galactic trendsetters. Yeah. Cause I, yeah. that uh, either of those cards for me though, it's uh, the thing well, I like about, yeah, they're both, they're both great. Those are those, but, but what, what are some of your favorites? Do you, do you well, have a favorite? Diver- I'm, I, I mean, there's it's hard to have favorites i i diversify the economy a, now I'm it, yeah I know if, the if i'm doing a produce now. consume i like that one you know if i can get if i get a good hand of and i get three different worlds off the start and diversified economy comes Cooking, up eh? i love that thing because what it does it lets you trade three different goods for three points and when you produce you will draw a card for every kind of good you produce so, so it, it is a uh, it is a uh, hand generating card generating it, and it's point generating. That's right. It it gives twice. Yes. And, it, and when you're doing a produce consume kind of strategy, or you just have an engine going, that thing just chunks cards at you. Nice. You know, you'll, and, you'll, and you'll all produce. And yeah, and points. And I mean, there are times when you get different combinations, and you're you're calling produce, and you'll get like I'll get a handful. Of, I'll get twelve cards in my hand, or. I'll be, you know, I kind of get so many cards through, which is great because then you start picking out, you start getting the cards you want. And I'm trying to think if there a card in the base game. There is a card not in the base game. Maybe it's in, um, oh, maybe it's in the Gathering Storm. And I realize you don't play that. Let me see if I can find that one. Okay, Gathering Storm. There's a, a, a card called Imperium Lords. Okay. And it lets you draw a card for every military planet you have. Oh wow. So you get a imagine you say four or five, yeah. You know, military right? down, and then you yeah, and you're doing military, soccer. and usually you're, you're in a race when you're in. If you're doing solely military, now I find and you're probably like me too. Is you is you've evolved in your play, and you're not you're not just doing a produce consume engine. You're doing a little no. bit of everything, trying to yep. get squeeze as yep. many points as you possibly can. But exactly. you get inferior words where you're producing a card for every every world you have, and your opponent is doing this produce consume cycle where they're producing you're just getting tons of cards in your hand love that that's so yeah, good yeah, yeah. okay let, let's flip the script script a little yeah. bit here a card you hate is there a card in this game the base game in particular that's what i know uh that you just ugh, like yeah like so a card useless. that a card just that crap. i would ever play yeah there are i'm just trying to think of what it is because i'm looking at one right now it's called the pilgrimage world the z- it costs zero to put down it oh it, yeah it, do you know what t- Gives you two yes. points, but it is yes. like so useless otherwise. Oh, okay. You lose that... a good no matter what. <laughs> well, you and know for what? free, you give one away every yeah, single true. time. I have used that occasionally if it comes up. And it's so usually where I've gone. <laughs> you know, you're it. like, oh, two points, boom. But, I know. But sometimes if you if you don't have an engine going, or you have and you and you've got a, you know, you're kind of maybe going or a little more like military, a military or development. Or yeah, 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 yeah. And you got some extra goods out there which are being wasted. Yeah. But honestly, I haven't got a lot of points off that. No, you know, I mean it's it's worth two. It's it, it's kind of like an end of the game kind of thing. Totally, it, it's a great way in. to end that game quickly, right? Sure. You know, if I got, like, oh, I got to get my twelve cards out there. Fill the board up, yeah. But totally, uh, um, yeah. not one of my favorites. <laughs> I don't use, you know, I know people love it. Gambling world, I don't use a lot. Um, that's the okay. one where you, um, when uh, consume is called, you can pick a number. Well, actually, it's oh, different oh, now. Oh yeah, it's been it's, it's, it's been upgraded. Banger. That's it's right. A one it's banger. been yep. it's yep. been upgraded now. So you you ante a card or you flip. I forget how it works now. I should know that, but okay. I play it so infrequently. Now, <laughs> funny enough. Even- for one I'm, buck, I don't mind getting it on my board because it's also um, if I've got some if I've got some economy worlds going, it's it's a way you you, you hit the you can score uh, two points through it. Yeah, that that's that's true. You yeah, know, you and do, it, it you is a gamble on a card, but that's just kind of a side perk for me. I'm like, eh, 
Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to think of some other developments I don't use a lot. Mm-hmm. Man, I, mm-hmm. You know, believe it or not, I don't use Galactic Renaissance or not. That's the one that gives you. I find I don't. So Galactic Renaissance is the one that gives you a, uh, a point for every three chips you have. <gasps> right. Right. right, and it's right, right. and if you're doing a solely produce consume engine where you're just trying to chunk it out as fast as you can, trying to beat your opponent who's just racing to twelve cards, and I feel like people who are doing just solely produce consume are going to get, I'm going to beat them nine times out of ten. But I find like I find that Galactic Renaissance card I don't use very often. So the only, I don't know, yeah, okay, I was just going to say another one that I've I've just been thinking about is this Plague World. The it's three bucks now it is a green world but it's like, three bucks zero points and a lot of it just costs oh you a yeah lot to get down yeah. it's like that's a great point I, it's one that i've started to hate more and more yes. lately <laughs> yeah like, why am i spending four cards basically to lay this dumb cart to play totally. it down i mean it is green i'll give that like you you but it, it, it's so hard to get it going <laughs> that's true i i rarely pay full price for that card um, okay i will play fair. it if I've got, you know, uh, what's that Say called? Colony this one here. Or, or yeah, or the, or or the replicant, replicant robots. Yeah. Yeah, I'll play that. And if I can, and if I've Get got. Get it down cheap, right? Yeah, if I've got Pan Galactic League, which is that six, the six to cost development, which is right. uh, gives you two points per green world. I, I mean, okay. that's that's what I'll do. I'll do that. But you're right. I, I will play it. But a lot of times I'm like, it's not worth it. Oh, yeah. You know? I know. <laughs> but if you could break that out early. And you get a green yes. roll, and you crave with yes. it, and you got to consume on it. It's, Correct. it's pretty good. It can be very decent, but I mean, it just seems like there's a lot of mojo you got to put into it. That's that's right. And it's funny, like I, I've, I've read some of Tom Lehman again, the designers, some of the, the thinking he's he's done into some of these worlds. I, I'm looking at some images of the of the original base game, and some of the costs have changed. So oh, black market black market trading world uh, in the original game is uh, three cost. And it gives okay. you two points, and it lets you trade um, without calling calling trade. You can consume a world for cards, and, and it's oh. and it's great. But okay. they found that a lot of people weren't using it, so now it's a two cost. They dropped. I think it. it's two cost, two oh. points. I can't remember. So if you pay attention, if you see that in the app, it's it's yeah. cost two. I don't use it very often, to be honest. Okay, but it's it's there, and I and you know what? I, maybe that's a hole in my strategy. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know. Well, well. speaking of strategy, we uh, I do want to get into it deeper with you at some point. Yeah. But right now, I did want to ask you, do you have a favorite uh, game approach? Do you have a favorite game style that you would like to play, like military? Yeah. Uh, economy? Like, do you, or do you do a combo? Like, what, what uh, do you, is there one that you really kind of hone in on when you're playing? I'm totally, I, I mean, totally combo. Like, and I, I'm sure there is strategy to race for the galaxy for sure. But I'm oh, much yeah. more, I'm more tactical where, okay, what's the most I can squeeze out of the cards? And occasionally I'm like, I hate hunting for a card. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's but sometimes you have to. Or, yeah. or what you do is you set it up so you're getting tons of cards coming into your hand so you can find the ones you want. I tend to lean a little military. Do if you? I'm, yeah. yeah, I do. And I have a, I, I have a, I have a hole in my game. Too. Yeah. It's a hole in my game, unfortunately. Um, the, the worst, the, you'll, you'll appreciate this, the worst feeling is where you lay down um, – uh, development card say for like you know a three military a three military bump but you don't have yeah. any military yeah and then you're up. then you're going farming for cards right you're uh, just like come yeah, on brutal. i just got hit a military i just got hit a military <laughs> i hate being in that position <laughs> um, there's one thing i love it happens to me ever once in a while you'll get interstellar bank which gives you a card every time somebody calls development you'll get investment credits which gives you a, a minus one cost minus a minus one discount on um on developments and then you then you throw out um what's the name of the card galactic federation which is minus two off developments and then you just development span your opponent all the <laughs> you call development yes. all the time and i mean you're putting down six cost developments for like three cards and it's yes, brilliant like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> you know and, yes. and you're picking up your and the great thing about that you're picking up military too because you're you're throwing down military developments so your opponent's desperately calling settle and you're like do it because I'm going to settle these planets. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yes, that's right. Then they call, you know. Then they they call to uh, produce, and you're producing cards, and I love that. Oh. I, I, it almost feels 
it almost feels cheaty to just do that development. Hey, but you know what? At the same time, they could be maybe trying to rush a different I'm, strategy. So you, I've gotten do burned. Not, uh, yeah, do not uh, never... for a second think it's cheaty because you're right. They're doing the same thing on their end. <laughs> that's that's the, true. That's the, the beauty of this game. <laughs> there is a card. I think it's on the Gathering Storm. Let me see if I can find it. Which, uh, yeah, it's called Improved Logistics. Okay. Um, I'm not sure you can see it on my screen there, but. You oh, get yeah. to settle two planets when settles called. Oh, so if okay. you're playing, so you can imagine this: you've got like maybe six plus military, right? You know, and you got a hand of military planets, and you ha- you've played improved logistics, and you're playing two player advanced, and you call settle settle. You're playing four worlds that turn, <laughs> and it's crazy. Talk about filling your your tableau. Eh? Oh, okay. boom, boom. And, you, and, and you you play against somebody. This is why the produce consume. You have to produce consume, and you have to k- kind of keep that in mind. But you play you play that against produce consume. The guy's going to turn that engine once, and the game's over. Right? Exactly. You know, yes. In three turns, the game's over. That's right. Right? That's it's right. Four, it four, is four, four, fast. Done. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, yeah. so good. It's I basically how fast can you get there, though? Right. That's right. Yeah. That's exactly. The thing. Yeah. 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 So, uh, speaking of uh, getting there, we have um, another question for you here on tabletop versus digital platform you said you have both yeah you have both apps um i think i've played tabletop maybe three times in yeah. my life and i yeah. played you know the other 997 times on my phone yes or or on a on my my computer but what's your thought this is a big exception for me i was talking to you guys earlier and i said i kind of struggle with app-based board games and i think it's because I like that tangible, get my hands on the pieces. And if I'm playing an app or playing on Steam, I'm thinking, why am I not playing a video game? Right. Right. Um, but the big exception, is, and it's like literally my number one or number two game. It's top three for sure. Are you serious? Race for the, this, is, Ra- this is way up there for you. It's way up there. Race for the nice. Galaxy. I play all 99% more than that. Solely, almost all solely on the app. Wow. I, so I really you, do. you do like the app. It does because it plays so fast. Now, like, <laughs> Steam versus uh, your phone. The app on my phone mostly because my phone's with me. Convenience, um, right? Yeah. And Steam is great, but I rarely sit down on a you know, a computer to, to do yeah, that. Yeah, I think if I had my druthers, I would sit at the computer and play it there. But yeah. you're right. Just for sheer convenience, pull totally. up the phone, you know, fire off a game or two, and then carry about your day. <laughs> That's right. You know, and here's the thing. Here's the thing, too. You're 100% right. When I started playing race on online, I guess, like or with Steam or the app, I played almost always on Steam because I didn't know the cards that well. And on right. Steam, you could actually see the cards. You can do it on the app, too. Uh, not as well because big, yeah, even us well. talking that's has right. gained me more insight into these cards. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm looking at all the cards. It's the only way I can name them. Right. Um, but after a while, you get so used to them, you don't have to look at them anymore. And that's then, right. And you then, just look at the like, symbols. Yeah, that's exactly right. So, uh, I, but you know what? I do love playing this live. But I find here's the thing: I play this game so many times. If I'm going to play this game against somebody, well, first of all, I'm going to have to teach them. And this game is I, I can teach it. I have taught it. It's it's a little challenging. And I the, find it's the, not user friendly. It's no, not overly user friendly. Like it, it took a little bit of roll up the sleeves to figure this game out for me. Yeah, it, and the iconography. I know people complain about the iconography. It's not that bad. And if you if you're playing live, you can have the little cheat sheet in front of you on the app. It's great because they they show the iconography and then you know they spell it with the card does text that they can't fit on the card. That's right. You know in in real life, but I find if I'm playing somebody live, I'm I'm, I, I mean, I played thousands of times. Yes. I know how to win this game, and right. they're not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slaughter them. And <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be, true. they're gonna be thinking, be sitting there thinking about their cards, and I'm gonna be going out of my mind. Like, I'm gonna be like, like I just already. Go, <laughs> it's so <laughs> obvious what you gotta exactly. do, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, this game, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a race. Right? Well, that's You're a fair point. to get that thing done, and it's, it's, it plays so well, fast. It's such a, it's such a lot of game in a little package. It really is. I mean, I shouldn't say yeah. little because there's, there's, I don't know how many cards there are, but there's a lot oh, of cards. All the expansions, yeah. But it, but it plays so fast; it's so brilliant. Well, one of the nice things about the uh, the digital, I think, is the housekeeping. You don't have to go through after. Yeah. You, have to, you don't have to worry about missing a, you know, some card ability you got in your deck, that, or that's true, or the you point system, right? Like it just takes care of all the housekeeping, which, um, 
I mean, there's no greater app for that than the Through the Ages app, but I will definitely give, uh, you know, honorary mention to the, uh, the Race yeah, of the Galaxy Yeah, totally app true. Like, you don't have to, and I know you played live a few times, you don't have to add up your no. your six points or miss something happening. Or miss you know? one of your points or whatever, right? Yeah, and that's then you exactly lose the right. game when you actually won it. And, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I would drive me crazy. Yeah. It would totally drive me crazy. This this game is really cool. If you if you ever get into the expansions, like it lies. Oh, I want to. Uh, you, you've um, been convincing me to get into them. I, I think be, that's, that's going to happen now. It um, might be worth it. my I bank account. <laughs> totally worth it. They're not that bad. How much are they online? I can't, only a couple Did I blocks. hear a 650? Yeah, I don't think it's. Oh, yeah. it is that what they uh, have? I heard NATO mention that yeah, something there's earlier today. Six dollars and forty nine cents. Okay, each? is it, it, each each oh. app? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's uh, okay. You know what? Okay. It'll be uh, it'll be well worth. I I will have de- I will definitely get my money's worth out of those apps or the. Uh, I was thinking I was thinking they were they were cheaper than that. Yeah, yeah, maybe um, when they're on sale, but no, six dollars still forty nine cents. This this game the, the 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 real copy of the game is really well known for the AI that I forget who wrote it. I mean, oh, Tom it's a Lehman. brilliant AI. It's it's um well it's the uh what I mean is it's the paper based AI. If you oh, ever the play paper based AI, yeah, oh. it's like uh it's a cool little solo game they have. Really, where this thing calls phases and it's and it's challenging. It's it's kind of fun. excellent. I've only played it a couple times to be honest because the and app is I, like duh, duh, duh. it's good. It's like, so much really, faster. Right? You have yeah. to be tight. You have to play against this. Oh, whatever that again um I, I shouldn't call it an ai because it's not it's not computer based is it a flow the chart? little it's uh it's it has a bit of a flow chart feel to it all right because i know some of the honestly, coin games have the the flow charts where you basically follow the it's been it, honestly it's been a while formula. since i played it i you know i actually i got this out the other day i was going to take it somewhere I, and i hadn't opened it in a while and i was looking through the cards going oh this looks so good you yes. know and actually some of the some of the artwork i was thinking oh it feels a little I mean, it came out in 2007, and I was thinking, oh, and the artwork's it's still beautiful. But I thought, oh, oh it feels looks, a yeah, little. It still sharp, feels. Yeah. It feels, I just felt a little old to me. But again, that could be just because I'm so used to looking at it. But the but the solo thing they use, um, call it an AI if you will, sure. is really well designed, and you have to be super tight against it. Really, like you, eh? can't, you can't okay. be a well, sloppy player. You know, we were, we were talking about uh, what I play is against the hard AI, and I love that it beats me. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I think I beat it on whole on the whole more than fifty percent, but sure. not much more than fifty percent. <laughs> and I love it is that. Good. I love that the AI is 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 a formidable challenge. I think that's that's uh, like a, a testament to the uh, the AI writers and the um, and the, yeah. and the game designers. That's great. And there's a cool story behind that. I mean, I only know a little bit. It's the, the AI is called um, the Keldon AI, and it's named after the creator. I'm looking at the app real quick. Named after Keldon Jones, hmm. who created it. And it was one of the. I am not a coder, but it was um, it was one of the early examples, at least that I came across that used. Um, I don't want to call it the wrong thing, but it learned like it learned how to play. Oh, so he, okay. So he created, yeah, almost, yeah right? he created the AI and then he just had it play thousands of games against itself and it trained itself how to play race. Come Galaxy. on. That so is what do you call that? There's oh, a term machine for that. learning, machine learning, whatever it is. Yeah. Is there, a, is there something with the word neural in it? Neural networks, but that's, that's maybe neural network. Different, but yeah. But, oh, okay. that's, that's, so that's very what, cool. That's what he did. And it's still, as far as I can tell, I mean, I have a copy of a, a copy of it. You can still play that for free. That's against, that. Against oh, we the mentioned that earlier. Eye. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm just going on to his website right now. Go it was last it updated in 2014, but it, st- it still runs great. Jeez, that's awesome. Yeah. It was yeah a maybe, we'll, maybe we'll have to shoot a link in there in our, uh, yeah, in we our... can throw it in there. And yeah, video down below, you guys could check it out if you're interested. You in that. can play the game for free. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Beat six fifty per expansion. <laughs> totally. So, it James, so any good. drawbacks? Is there anything about Race for the Galaxy you just like Ugh, don't love? Man. Um, well, you know, when I first started out playing this game, I would get frustrated that I you would because it's a race. It's not. It's not. Uh, how, how do I say it? I was going to say it's not clean. It is clean. But sometimes you you like, oh, I finally got my engine here. You know, it took me four turns to get my engine going, and you got to turn it twice, you know, before yeah, somebody... and then the game's over. Totally. Now, but that... Yes. Initially, I was like that. But then you see the brilliance of it, you know, and you're like, oh, I got to explore other strategies to do this. 
Right. But in terms of cons, man, I'm so optimistic. Yeah, it's hard for me to think <laughs> so of bad positive things. about this game. I totally eh? just like this game. Um, I think you can get trapped with this game into, say, like a, a hand of development cards, and you just cannot yes. buy yourself yeah. a world. And it has, I would say that's one flaw in this game that, or, or you have, you know, getting all worlds is manageable, but getting all development cards. I see you uh, saying you can get you can get stuck you can get stuck uh, yeah. in this game. But, I mean, but you could. It doesn't I, happen. The, it doesn't happen. No, often. But I mean, that's when you're exploring, explore, explore, trying to you know see as many as you can. But you're right. You're right. But you, you can, can keep like, developing. I mean, you can keep developing. Eggs. But that's I, I've right. had it where I've gone three or four hands and not picked not the world. Not seen anything. Yeah. And it's like, come on, yeah. that, you know, that's in you know, like I say, probably around the thousand mark of games. Yeah. But sure. Still. Yeah. You know, it, it so it doesn't happen frequently. But I mean, even getting or getting getting military worlds and you have no military yeah. points, like. You know, you can get jammed up, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I see that. I mean, the the counter to that would be is is trying to get as many, try to look for cards and just giving and just leeching off what your opponent's doing. Of course, but then you're they, just hunting, right? Then you're true. Just digging. You are hunting, and you are and giving. And that's up not some, great either. You're right. You, you are you are in a position there. Uh, you're you're, you're kind of screwed. You're totally right. <laughs> so. Yeah, you you could. Yeah, there's the odd time where, I mean, there's always there's always, there's always luck in in the games, but they do a good way of mitigating it and there are times when you, you play against somebody you beat them and then they beat you what you know and sometimes i guess no i was gonna say does it feel pre predeterministic but or it deterministic? Can do. like i, I would say in, like i would that. say in those kind of games it's like i got there, nothing there i mean and actually in fact you you've even told me that you, you when you've played against like human human players and then they yeah. resign and that's one of your biggest pet peeves but yeah. I can I can relate to that person resigning. I know it gets your goat, but I will chase you down. I, well, I know you will. And yeah, yeah. Done so. I know you know. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, like I I I know I've been playing against the AI a few times, and it's like either I know I've got the game, or I know he you know yeah. the computer's got the game, and there's there's no way I can win, or there's no way you know I'm going to lose, and um, uh, uh. You know, and so you, it can it can be predetermined. I think I, yeah. at some point, right? Like it, before the game actually ends. Yeah, I, I found you know to to go along with that. I I have found in some of the three or four game player three or four player games rather that I've done where we were playing all the expansions. You know, uh, Gathering Storm, Rebel versus Imperium, and Brink of too War. Much? Too much. Too um, much. There's lots going on, and you the cards just aren't there for you. And you've got one person who's just seems to everything's clicking for them, and they they go out to it a, a huge lead. Now right. there are times where I've been able to catch up, or or maybe I'm a little slower getting going, but I have something really good, and at the end I'm you know I'm throwing down a bunch of cards, which are great. But there have been times where I'm like, oh man, if you know if these weren't Nothing's these weren't really real people, right? I'm like, gonna I'm gonna resign. I would. You just kind of want to resign because you're like done with it. But because yeah, of real yeah, people, the, the, the game is just like, kind of no, like you, crap yeah. for you, right? Yeah, it's just uh, it, nothing's connecting, right? Totally. And and to be said about the, the resigning part, very rarely people do that now. I I find I've been played against people where I've had a like, huge leads. And um, they stick it out. And they stick it out. And I'm the same yeah. way. I'll I'll stick it out. I I'll think if I, was play, if I was playing human player, I wouldn't resign unless yeah. uh, unless the, unless the player had done something to really irritate me. And, like say, <laughs> yeah, in the yeah, comments, totally. it would have to be in the comment section though. Like in pure gameplay, I'm not resigning. But yeah, well, you know that's if actually, you mouth off me or something. Yeah, peace out. Yeah, that's true. Now, <laughs> that being said, like the app doesn't allow you to comment, and I so there's I'd no be, oh there's no chat. There's no chat now. If you play in board game arena, it lets you chat, All but right. um but not on this one unfortunately. Yeah, okay, well that actually probably can be fine. Now the app for a long, for a long time wasn't being upgraded, and it started to fail on some of the newer machines. Now I think a couple months ago they they put out they pushed an upgrade, which solved a lot of that. But a, a couple of things they could do, and this this doesn't speak to the game; it just speaks to the app. They a um, couple of things they could they could uh, tie up is when somebody does resign the game, they should give you an option to allow the AI to take over. Just so you can see the yeah, you know, because you're on, a stats right? guy, you love pouring over the game, uh, yeah, post game, right, and doing a little post game analysis. Yeah, like I, I don't get really intricate, but I kind of like, oh yeah, I remember when I did this, and all oh, had you know this kind of worked out for me. Yeah, so, yeah like what worked, you, what did, can't. right? That's right, and you can't want people to resign. In that, there's a drawback, yeah, for sure. So, anyway, James, it's been great chatting with you about Race for the Galaxy. It uh, you've definitely piqued my curiosity on the expansions. I think I'm all over that. I think that's going to have to happen. Yeah, and, this is uh, my pleasure. This has been great. 
Yeah, and we are going to have to have, I think we're going to have to have a heads up game, you and I. Oh, I'm ready. Monway Mon will battle it out. Totally. <laughs> In the galaxy. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> it'll awesome. be a lot of fun. All right. Thanks for joining us. This hey, is guys. Legendary Tactics. Like what, something like, you... this is Legendary Tactics. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> yes. Randy would love it. Yeah. No, he will. He will love it. He will love Thanks, it. Strong Bad. <laughs> yes. Yeah.